What's up guys? Today we're here at Famalab and we're, I'm going to be going over how to uh, use the laser engraver a la and laser cutter. This is a 60 watt epilogue uh, fusion and I'm just going to be going over a review um, on just how to go set up the machine for those of you guys who have already taken a laser one-on-one -on -one class um, but maybe just need to uh, brush up a little bit before you uh, make your laser cut or engraving. So the first thing you're going to do um, is go over to the thermostat, which you guys should know where that is, and go ahead and put that down to about 73 degrees because as soon as we turn on the exhaust fan, it's going to suck all the air out of here and it's going to get pretty hot. So make sure you turn that down first. Um, also, whenever you turn the exhaust fan on, make sure that you have the door to the fab lab closed. So now that you have the AC and the door closed, um, you can go ahead and turn on the machine, which is this switch down here. Uh, the machine will take a few seconds, probably about 30, 45 seconds to actually go through its initialization, uh, initialization process and get ready to, for you to start adjusting it. While that thing is getting set up, you also have the laser computer, so you can start getting your files open and get it ready to um, export them to the printer. And just go ahead and remember that this switch here is for the vent fan and the switch down there for the air compressor. It's for the air assist, but you'll also need to turn on while you're using the laser. All right, so basically just go ahead and open the top. Um, I'm just going to put this sample piece of wood in there just to demonstrate. We're, this is the cutting vector grid. So if you're going to do anything that's going to be other than engraving where you're going to actually cut through the material, you need to make sure that this um, is on, on the bed. So we're going to go ahead and put this up in the top corner there. And we need to first focus the machine. So over here is where the focusing tool is stored. Go ahead and place the focusing tool on the head, just like that. And you can uh, move with these arrow keys here, move down to where it says focus, and then you can push the bracing up and down until that uh, tool just touches the top surface of your material. Then what you're going to do is push the joystick in, and the focus will set to zero. Now, remove the focusing tool and place it back right here on the side of the machine. You've just set your Z axis height. So now we need to set the X and Y axis. So we will move the arrow key down to jog, and we will push the uh, red laser button which will turn the laser pointer on in the head so you can see where the uh, head is pointing and move the laser pointer up into the top left corner. Now depending on your print settings you can also print in the center with the computer settings so in that case you would stick the red dot right in the center of where you want it to engrave. For most of the time, you're probably going to be engraving from the top left because that's the default setting. So we'll go ahead into the top left corner of the piece, push down on the joystick, and it will set the zero of the X and Y axis, and it will take you back to job. Now your piece is now the machine is set up, and you're ready to accept the file from the computer and bring it into the machine. So in this video, I'm not going to go into how to use Adobe Illustrator. That will be a separate uh, video. But basically, we have our image here, which is the FamilyLab logo. And we're going to be rastering this image onto that piece of wood. Um, I, so I set up the page to be 8 inches by 6 inches, which is the same size as the piece of wood in the machine, which you can see easily on the rulers that are on the grid. So from here, we will just go and push, go, uh, print this. And we'll go to the setup and preferences. Basically what we have here is this is the 
DPI or dots per inch. 600 is pretty standard. We are going to be doing a raster. Raster is when you're engraving an image. Vector is when you're cutting uh, for the most part. Um, so we're going to do raster. We have our settings over here. Um, we're going to be engraving on wood and I like to use the 50 watt settings over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this uh, to this chart and as you're going to see the photo engraving here uh, 50 watts laser is 50 speed 100 power. The reason I use a 50 speed or the 50 watt chart instead of the 60 watt chart is just because this laser uh, tube is a little old so it doesn't have full power so we're gonna like 50 speed 100 power um, whenever I'm rastering I like to do bottom up it just keeps the smoke away from the image a little bit better um, and we don't need to do any of this now this is important you need to change this to the size of whatever image canvas size you have in your uh, program that you're using so we'll do 8 by 6 and like I said before if you wanted to do center engraving where you would set your jog uh, dot in the center of the workpiece you could you would have to use this setting here and then it will use that as a center you can also do top center uh, center left and these other ones but for this, we're, we zeroed it in the top left corner, so we're not going to use that option. So, that's good. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, print. And now you see that it says document 8.6, but media 8.5 by 11. I don't know why this is a glitch, but you basically click Setup, and then Print again. And it clears it up, brings us up 8 by 6 and 8 by 6. If this right here says anything other than 0, 0, something is wrong and you need to change it otherwise your image will not go where you want it to go and then you go ahead and print over here you'll see your job one if you have named the file it will say the file name here this one is untitled one it shows that it's a five minute uh, f yeah five minutes and 11 seconds of raster time and it shows a 600 dpi all right now we're pretty much ready to go. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we turn on the air compressor for the air assist. So we'll go ahead and turn that switch on. You should start here the pump turn on. Then we'll turn on the fans, which I will do in a minute because you guys won't be able to hear me. We'll close the lid. And we'll turn on the fans and then once the fans are going, we'll push the green go button. Start to see your piece of the light. Alright, now that the piece is finished lasering, that's good to keep the fan running for a few minutes to make sure all the fumes totally evacuate out of the building. After that, you can go ahead and turn off the fan and the air assist. Piece. So if this helped you out, please hit the like, bu like button. Maybe it'll convince me to make another video. Also, if you don't haven't already, check out FamilyLab.org. Come to an open house at FamilyLab, and check out me at JankyShack or JankyShack.com. Thanks for watching, guys.